and welcome to our video. Today we will be getting started with the Rider 15 Neo. In this video, we will go through first time power on, set up unit of measurement and temperature, configure and switch between bike 1 and bike 2, change the clock format, explain basic device usage, connect to the Brighton Active app, and go through some basic app functions. Before we get started, ensure that you have already downloaded the Brighton Active app from our iOS Marketplace or Google Play Store and created your Brighton Active account. For more information on this, please see the link in the video below. And without further ado, let's get started. To begin, we will explain the various buttons on the Rider 15 Neo. The first button is on the left rear side of the device. This button is used to enter settings, go back, and when held down to power on and off the device. Next, on the bottom left hand side of the Rider 15 Neo is the page, down, and when held down, the backlight button. By pressing and holding this button, you can turn on or off the Rider 15 Neo backlight. Additionally, when on the meter page, you can tap this button to switch between data pages. Finally, on the rear or on the right side, we have the OK, Record, and Stop Recording button. When starting a ride, press this button once to start recording, and then after riding, press it again to stop and save the recording. So now that we know how all the buttons work, we'll power on our new Rider 15 Neo by pressing and holding the back rear button for three seconds. On initial use, the device will ask you to confirm your unit of measurement. We can switch between metric and imperial units by pressing the page down button and confirming with OK. Once we have confirmed, the device is already ready to go on its first ride. Once outside and under clear cover, without any buildings or trees obstructing view to the sky, allow a couple of seconds to go by for the Rider 15 Neo to connect to satellites. Once connected, with the icon in the corner of the device showing satellite connection, press the OK button to begin recording. If you would like to further configure the Rider 15 Neo, we will go through some of the various menu functions. Otherwise, you can skip ahead to connecting with the Brighton Active app. So, to switch between Bike 1 and Bike 2, press the rear menu button, and press OK to select the bike option. Next, if using a speed sensor with this profile, input the tire size. For us, we're going to use a circumference 2155. Use the arrow key to change the number and OK to confirm. Once complete, press OK again, and you'll return to the Settings menu. Next, if you'd like to manually adjust the altitude, you can do this either from the Brighton Active app or directly on the device. Scrolling to Altitude. You can use the Down button and OK to manually select each digit, followed by the OK button to confirm. After selecting each digit, press OK, and then press OK again to return to the menu. To switch between kilometers and miles, press the rear menu button, and then use the left down arrow key to scroll down through the settings to unit, followed by OK. Here, 
You can use the arrow key again to switch between kilometers and miles, and confirm your selection by pressing OK. You can then choose the unit of temperature through the same method by using the down key to switch between them and confirm by pressing OK. Okay. If you need to change the clock format to the 12 hour or 24 hour format or adjust daylight savings time, go into the menu using the rear back key and then scroll down to hour and press OK to select. Use the left down arrow to switch between the 12 and 24 hour formats. Followed by OK to confirm the selection. Next, daylight savings time can also be configured here. Use the arrow key to select numbers and OK to confirm each selection. Followed by OK again to confirm. In the settings, it is also possible to sync sensors, manually modify odometer, delete rides, and factory reset the Rider 15 Neo. Some of these functions will be explained further in other videos. For now, to exit the settings menu, simply press the rear button again and you'll return to the meter page. From the meter page, you can use the arrow key to navigate through the data pages. By default, the Router 15 Neo will display a common setup, but this can be adjusted using the Brighton Active app. To scroll between data pages, press the bottom left down key. As mentioned previously, you can also start and stop a ride by pressing OK. From here, we will move on to the Brighton Active app. From your smart device, open the Brighton Active app once you've already installed it. And once opened, if you have not connected a device already, you will be automatically prompted to the Device Manager menu. If you have already added a device before, you can access this menu by going to Settings and selecting Device Manager. So to add our Rider 15 Neo, we will begin by pressing the green plus key and selecting our device from the available devices below. Again, press the green plus key and ensure that the 16-digit UUID matches the UUID on the back of your device. Once confirmed, press yes to add the device to your account so that you can sync in the future and your device will now appear in the settings tab. Okay, from the settings tab, the first section we have is My Devices, where you can see the Router 15 Neo, your UUID, and the current version number. If you would like to do a Bluetooth sync, you can select the BT Sync option. By pressing this, you will sync rides from your Router 15 Neo to your Brighton Active account. We'll also be showing this in another video, which you can find in the link in the description below. To configure a data setting, data grid settings, We'll choose the Grid Settings option, and from here you'll be prompted to select whether you'd like to use Manual or Automatic Mode. By selecting Automatic Mode, your Router 15 Neo will automatically show the most common types of data, and will automatically display data for any sensors you have connected to the device. So for now, we're going to select Manual, and here you can see the layout as displayed on the Router 15 Neo. Below, you can change the number of data. And at the bottom, you can select each individual page. If you would like to remove a page, simply press the toggle in the upper right hand corner and the page will be disabled. Press again to re-enable it if you would like to add it back. So returning to our first page, we will select the one in the center and choose Altitude. From here, we'll select Gradient, and also modify our bottom left one. On our list, we're going to choose Cadence, 
and just show the cadence, and press Done to confirm. Once we have modified the settings to our liking, in the upper left hand corner, we're going to press the Sync button, which will send the data to our Router 15 Neo, and reboot the device. Once rebooted, you can now see Cadence and the gradient in the center. Gradient will be displayed once we begin riding on our bike, which we will show later. So, returning to the settings screen, we also have the option to add smart notifications, which will be shown in another video with the link in the description below, and calibrate altitude. Altitude calibration will use your current GPS location to automatically determine what your altitude should be. If you'd like to manually adjust this number, you can simply use the down and up arrow keys. Once you've selected your altitude, press calibrate, and this information will be sent to your Rider 15 Neo. Okay. Returning to the settings page, along with settings, you can also modify your bright and active profile, as well as view your results after you've already synced your Rider 15 Neo with your Byte Active account. Finally, to power off your Rider 15 Neo, we're going to again press and hold the back rear button for three seconds, and the device will power off. So that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon to get updates on our latest videos.